Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 6 of chapter 4, section 8 from the practice exam. Use Newton's method with a specified initial approximation x1 to find x3, the third approximation to the root of the given equation. Round your answer to four decimal places. 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2 equal to 0, where x1 equal to negative 1. Newton's approximation is to find out, uh, Newton's method is to find out the best approximation um, for the root of the given function. So the formula for Newton's method, the n, n plus first approximation to the root is nth root minus f at nth root divided by the derivative of f at nth root. So this is what the formula for Newton's method. In this problem, we are given the first approximation, which is x1 equal to negative 1, and we are asked to find out the third approximation, x3. So, uh, if we apply the rule x2, the second approximation, the first approximation, then f at the first approximation divided by derivative at the first approximation. Now, because we need both f and f prime, we will find out the de derivative of the given function. So, it is 2x cube minus 3x square plus 2 is the given function. Its derivative is given by 6x square minus 6x, the uh, derivative of 2 is 0. Now, we are given x1 equal to negative 1. So, if we apply x1 equal to negative 1 in this relation, negative 1, f at negative 1 divided by f prime at negative 1, which is negative 1 minus f at negative 1 is obtained by plugging in negative 1 into this function um, f of x. So, we are going to plug in that negative 1. So, it is 2 times negative 1 cube minus 3 times negative 1 square plus 2 um, divided by f prime negative 1. So, we are going to plug it in into this f prime. So, 6 times negative 1 square minus 6 times negative 1. So, this is negative 1 then minus uh, 2 times negative 1, um, that will be a negative 2, then negative 1 square is positive 1, so minus 3 plus 2 divided by 6 uh, times positive 1, and then plus 6, that will be a 12. So, it is negative 1, um, then we have negative of negative 3, that will be a positive 3 over 12. So, it is negative 1 plus 1 fourth when you simplify, which is negative 3 fourth. So, that is actually the second approximation to the root. The first approximation is negative 1 and the second approximation turns out as negative 3 by 4. The problem is asking us to find a third approximation. So, third approximation, if we apply the rule here, the formula, then it is a second approximation minus value of the function at the value of the function at the second approximation divided by the value of the derivative at the second approximation. So it is x2 which is negative 3 fourth minus f at x2. So we are going to plug in um, uh, x equal to negative 3 fourth into this relation. So, it is 2 times negative 3 by 4 the whole cube minus 3 times negative 3 by 4 the whole square plus 2 divided by value of the function at um, the derivative at x2. So, it is we are going to take this line and then plug in x equal to negative 3 fourth. So, 6 times negative 3 fourth the whole square minus 6 times negative 3 by 4. On simplification, this reduces to um, negative 3 by 4 minus 
नेगेटिव सेवेंटीन ओवर थर्टी टू डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी थ्री ओवर एट देन दैट विल रिड्यूस टू नेगेटिव फोर्टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी थ्री व्हिच अप्रॉक्सिमेट्स टू नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट टू फाइव डी क्वेश्चन इज़ आस्किंग अस टू डू फोर डेसिमल प्लेसेस सो दैट इज़ दी थर्ड अप्रॉक्सिमेशन नेगेटिव जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स एट टू फाइव the same problem can be done with the help of graphing calculator as follows so uh, in y1 you have to use this button for y this is our y in this y you plug in the given function 2x cube minus 3x square plus 2 then in y2 you plug in the derivative of the first line which is uh, derivative of 2x cube minus 3x square plus 2 which is 6x square minus 6x and in, in the third line you plug in the x minus y1 at x divided by y2 at the x and then close the parentheses and use the parentheses carefully if you look at this part we are using actually xn plus 1 um, xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f of xn over f prime xn so whatever number whatever approximation you choose here that is the same um, approximation you use inside the function and also for the derivative so this variable here xn is the same so that's that's our third line in the graphing calculator which is x minus um, y1 is actually in this um, is it's the function f so it's it's like f of x divided by y2 is the derivative so it is f prime x um, and then each time we are changing the value of x so uh, now you go to the home screen by clicking second and the mode button and then we want to find out uh, first x1 equal to negative 1 is given we want to find out the second approximation uh, for that you need to use a line um, line 3 which is stored in y3 so we have to recall that we have to um, uh, call that y3 in the calculation mode so to call that y3 you choose var button over here then use the right arrow and choose yvar and then choose one function but we don't want the function y1 we want the function y3 to be called so click 3 that will bring up um, y3 and in that one you plug in negative 1 that is our first approximation in this problem first approximation is given so use that then hit the enter button so what you get here is the second approximation which is negative 0.75 in your computation that you had before and you had this value to be equal to negative three-fourths um, that's exactly is uh, given in terms of decimal in the graphing calculator now this is our second approximation this is the value that you have to plug in into the into y3 in into the third line of um, the function which is y3 so now what we do we have to again call that y3 so go to var button in your calculator then use the right arrow to get yvar yes and then choose the function 1 then you have to call y3 so click 3 again then in this one instead of using the value negative 0.75 uh, it will be better you use that as an answer so it takes the answer from the previous line so to get the answer button in your calculator so you notice that it's in blue so use the second followed by the negative one that will give us the answer one but in the meanwhile you have to also click the parentheses and then the answer so hit the answer that's so that is the value that will go into uh, from the previous line it will go inside the argument of y3 close the parentheses now hit the enter here you notice that answer means the value from the previous line so it gives all the decimal numbers for our problem we are asked to approximate it to four decimal places so which is negative 0.6825 which agrees very well with your manual computation 
So this is quicker way of checking um, your answer with the graphing calculator method. Hope this video helps.